<laughs> Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a multi-talented superwoman. She shot yeah. to the top of the music charts with Billboard hits like Superwoman and Forever, starred in some top-rated reality shows and was even number one in the market as a radio personality. Go ahead, yes. Diva. With new music on the horizon, please welcome to the circle the godmother of hip-hop and R&B, Little Mo. Yeah! Wow. Hello! How are you? With that voice, with that voice, with that voice. Oh, Thank you. Hi, Lil Mo. Hi. How are you? Good Thank you. you. Welcome to hey, the show. Hey, Shiva. How are you? Oh, yes. man, we almost all the same height. Yeah, I know, right? You know, we're, we're the, the short, short ones. We're the short ones. Yeah. We're the small. The small. The small. That's, That's right. right. Not the wrong with it. That's right. Well, you, you look very Look at you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just a little something. Just a little something. Just a little something for the people in the back. I love it. So let's go all the way back to the beginning. You know, for those who don't know, shame on you, but let's let's teach the people. Mm -hmm. uh, you were discovered by Missy Elliott. Tell us yes. everybody. Tell everybody about that story and what your relationship is like now as you've grown into such a superstar. Like with the hip hop and R&B uh, aspect, because John P. Key is my uncle, so he actually gave me my first start. Ah. Gotcha. But then once I. I guess kind of tipped away from the church <laughs> and started singing that secular music, yeah. that rock and roll. Right. Um, Missy was one of the first people to hear some of the demos and souls that I was writing. So when I had initially, we had beepers back then. Yeah, uh, that's that's right. Pedro, Pedro. So when I had got the page from a, a New York City number and they uh, told me that Missy said call, I was like, Y'all lying. Missy did not say that. Right. That just not happened, like, just in the middle of the day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, the first time I spoke to her, she was like, you want to go on tour? And I was like, uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Wow. And so, like, the rest was history. Mm -hmm. So, she took me under her, her wing from then, and that was 20 years ago. Wow. wow. What's yeah. it like now with your relationship? Real good. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a great relationship. Actually, I think we're closer now than we were then. Because, you know, when you're young, you just want to run around and stuff like that. But she always tells me, I always knew you were the one that was going to be the mom and mm -hmm. all of that stuff like that. So it's just like, it, like we're super close. You know, the older you get, you know, you just, oh, I just, I I'm just so no glad to be here. Why am I crying? <laughs> uh, you know, your hormones just be all over the place. Yes, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she just laughed at herself. I love it. <laughs> I turned it into my mom. It's funny. That's all right. That's it all right. Happens, yeah, absolutely. It does. Yes. So listen, you have also uh, become a vocal coach. Mm -hmm. who, yes. do you who do you work with? Well, actually, that's honestly what I first started doing with Missy first. Um, not only co-writing and, you know, helping with her artists. Uh, vocal reduction was my specialty. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I've worked with everybody. Like, And I used to be scared, I'll tell you the really? truth. Um, yeah. When I had to work with Gerald Levert, rest mm -hmm. in peace to him, mm -hmm. All Star produced that track. And he was like, tell him he did it wrong. I was like, I'm not telling you the virgin sang the note wrong. Right. Because it wasn't flat, flat. <laughs> it was just a little bit flat. Because you know, it wasn't even like it was wrong. It was just like, you know, it was just that feel that it was looking for. He's such an on point, on key, on note singing singer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I was scared to tell him, oh, just fix that one little piece so we can match it. How'd yeah. you do it? I was just like, uh, Gerald, I try to make a joke out of it because I'm like, you don't tell the greatest that right. uh, his throat might have been a little bit off. <laughs> um, a lot of people, B2K, uh -huh. and you see they going on the Millennium yes. Tour. Mm -hmm. So I got mm -hmm. the vocal produce them, and yeah, they used to cut some nice checks. I need to go see if they were on the <laughs> album. <laughs> um, let me see who else. Uh, Tamar Braxton, I got yeah. the vocal producer. Yes. And that's when she was taking some. We was queen of popping the whole time oh, in the studio. Yes. Like, she's super fun. So we got like I got to work with her. Yeah. And, like, she's a singer, singer. And I got to vocal produce uh, Whitney Houston. Ooh, wow. Now that's what was that like? Scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Because that's Whitney Houston. Yes. And just sitting in it was a song uh, Missy Elliott wrote uh, called Yes. Mm -hmm. and they're like, yeah, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever. It was just like saying the word yes and just trying to tell Whitney to do the note. And it wasn't even a note. It, like, she could sing the note. She, Mo, you do that note. You do it. And I was like, uh, uh, yeah. Mm. But she gave me some fisherman <laughs> friends because my throat had dried up because I was nervous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, absolutely. So, yeah, like, right. she gave me a fisherman's friend, and I wish I still had it today. Wow, wow, wow. So. wow. Uh, you know, what does it feel like for people to still, like, jam to, to your old school hits? Like, Portia just had it on the Real yes. House. Yes. You sang to it. Like, yeah, that was, was dope. Crazy. Mm -hmm. I, uh, right. Not only I just did went I to do a wedding that, and they played it. Right. But, like, that's Love's been the mm -hmm. re- this has been the rebirth of everything. Mm -hmm. Trying to cut my hair, everything, like everything <laughs> 20 years ago is coming back now. So mm -hmm. like with the song Forever, we just 
came back in. Like, I didn't even know it made the charts when it came out in 03, so this 2019. That's just the Sweet 16 mm -hmm. anniversary of that mm -hmm. song. Mm -hmm. So to see it re-enter the R&B charts on iTunes, like somebody said, yeah. I was like, see y'all playing, don't play on me like that. Because y'all know the way my pressure and my blood, everything's just going to be all out of proportion. And I looked and I was like, was oh, snap, we on the charts. I called Fab, I called everybody from right. Electric. I was like, whoa, 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 we here. <laughs> I felt like we made it. It felt like it just came out. So right. From that, like I sang at Jacquees Mom's yes. wedding. Oh, wow. Like everywhere. Mm -hmm. I've even been doing some surprise pop-ups just mm -hmm. because a lot of people are just like, can you sing it here? That's our song. Yeah. And I would have never thought in a million years that that song would be brought back to life. Such so people love it though. as if it just came out. Yeah, so absolutely. I was like, yeah, I gotta keep it's on one of those music. timeless records though. Yeah. One timeless jam. Like I got I got my record. I have a couple of records that I've done before, but that's my one. As soon as you did, baby, mm -hmm. I'm at the point you just yes. be like, yeah, I'm so mm -hmm. like, And then when I pop out the cake or whatever I'm coming out of, people get so excited. <laughs> like when they be like, I think I hear her. I hear her. There she go. I'm so glad that's why I cut my hair. My wig used to be all leaning, but now, right. yeah, we good. Like, yes, you're I good. get so excited too. Like, yes, we here. Yes. Yes. This is so crazy. So you have a new P out, yes, a new EP. Mm -hmm. EP, yeah, new well, EP. Well, my uh, hair so, flying all in my mouth. That's I'm so right. excited. That's I just okay. like break dancing. Well, you're, well, we got space, so it's yes. all good. Uh, so separation anxiety. Yes. What can fans expect? Well, I, t I entitled this. EP that I'm doing, Separation Anxiety, because I mean, just listen to the term, Separation Anxiety, yes. I suffer with it a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I, say, I will say I suffer with anxiety, but it's Cynthia versus Little Mo. Yeah. I wrote a book called Tame a Little Mo, and I was just like, I realized that the alter ego that I created, there's nothing we can do about her, mm -hmm. she just has her own mind, and sometimes Cynthia has to take either the back seat, mm -hmm. the high road, mm -hmm. or the or the front of whenever things get yeah, out of yeah. hand. Yeah. So I was just like, it's just basically coming back I miss the industry, so it's bringing that back, that sound that everybody knows me because woo 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 woo. Yeah. Everybody yes. loves it. I'm bringing them woo woo woos back. Come on, woo woo. Uh, the woo is back. Uh, woo tag clan. Um, and it was just like bringing, <laughs> bringing back that feel. Everybody loves that 90s. Mm -hmm. And oh my God. I just want to bring that back, but. Because I have young kids, my oldest is 16 and my baby is three. I still have to mm -hmm. make sure that I'm bridging that gap because yes. they say these young kids, they ain't saying about nothing. They all on types of medication that ain't even mm -hmm. prescribed to them. Like they just <laughs> talk about the young kids so crazy. But I realized yeah. my children are, are part in that, in that, of yeah, that. Yeah. The millennial so I was like, I did stuff for them and stuff for us, for us grown yes. folks. Mm -hmm. And my whole EP directly correlates with our storyline on Marriage Bootcamp. Yes. Right. So yes. my first single entitled The Plug featuring Wiz Khalifa mm -hmm. details mm -hmm. the whole story the Ooh. truth nothing but the truth oh, oh wow my god absolutely everybody just hates my husband now oh no but you love him and that's all that I matters yeah how about that yeah, yeah. Right. that's right Lil Mo you're amazing thank you and if you want more of Lil Mo because this is a lot to have and I love yes. it too so much please follow her on her. Instagram that's right and yes. you can catch her alongside her husband Carl and marriage boot camp which you just mentioned hip-hop yes, edition Thursdays on WeTV mm -hmm. 